Anthony Blinken, Joe Biden's Jewish Secretary of State, dining at a Nazi establishment in Ukraine. The story was first picked up by journalist Che Bose. The restaurant is adorned with Nazi insignia. It even has a photograph depicting the 2014 Nazi attack on the trade union building in Odessa when ultranationalist thugs massacred 42 innocents inside. One wall is covered in military badges, from the neo-Nazi right sector to the Azov Battalion and even World War II era German SS divisions. As if the patches weren't enough, on the restaurant's Google Photos page, I found SS memorabilia, a framed Azov logo complete with a Sonnenrad, and a framed right sector flag. The restaurant is called Pizza Veterano, here boasting on its Facebook page that Blinken dined here with the Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuleba. Last year, Blinken and Kuleba shared some freedom fries at McDonald's. Kuleba said this time that he insisted on a Ukrainian restaurant. The restaurant is part of the Veterano Group, owned by Leonid Oltstatsev. One of their branches, or what's left of it, was based in Mariupol and was owned by a former member of the Azov Battalion. Here's Oltstatsev on Facebook praising the neo-Nazi C-14 organization. The 14 refers to the neo-Nazi 14-word slogan. After the Maidan color revolution, C-14 signed an agreement with the Kiev municipal government to patrol its streets in early 2018. Months later, it began a campaign of pogroms against Roma populations. The group's leader is Yevon Kadas, seen here Sig Heiling, and seen here meeting with Vladimir Zelensky. In this video, from just before the war, Kadas states, We have fun killing, and we have fun fighting, and We have started a war that has not been seen in 60 years. And finally, he states that if it were not for the neo-Nazis at the Maidan, it would have been a, quote, gay parade. But the U.S. Secretary of State is not the first prominent American to visit this questionable establishment. Meet Craig Lang, an American taking refuge in Ukraine who is wanted by the FBI. After returning from war in Iraq and Afghanistan, Lang fell into dispute with his then-pregnant wife. She apparently retaliated against him by sending him videos of her having sex with other men. Lang allegedly gathered up body armor, night vision goggles, and two assault rifles. He ditched his base in Texas and drove straight to North Carolina, where his wife lived. He then surrounded her condominium with landmines and attempted to kill her. While on the front lines in Ukraine in 2017, Lang and other Americans fell under investigation by the Department of Justice and the FBI. They are believed to have, quote, committed or participated in torture, cruel or inhumane treatment, or murder of persons who did not take or stop taking part in hostilities and intentionally inflicting grievous bodily harm on them. Leaked documents from the Department of Justice's Criminal Division of the Office of International Affairs claim Lang and other suspects, quote, allegedly took non-combatants as prisoners, beat them with their fists, kicked them, clobbered them with socks filled with stones, and held them underwater. Lang is said to be the main instigator of the torture. He, quote, may have even killed some of them before burying their bodies in unmarked graves. According to the leaks, one American under Lang's command showed FBI investigators a video of Lang beating, torturing, and eventually killing a local. Another video referenced in the leaks apparently shows Lang beating and drowning a girl while a fellow fighter injected her with adrenaline so that she would not pass out while she was killed. Lang allegedly carried out these crimes as a member of the right sector, an organization that's been incorporated into the Ukrainian military. When he came back to the United States, Lang and his friend decided it was their mission to overthrow the socialist government of Venezuela and, quote, kill communists. But there was just one problem. Lang couldn't pay for it, so he wound up murdering a couple and stealing $3,000 from them. Another American that's been to the restaurant is a neo-Nazi figure by the name of Paul Gray. Early on in the war, Fox News featured Gray no less than six times on their channel. In 2018, Gray was slapped with a citation for trespassing on Texas State University grounds while he was distributing flyers for the neo-Nazi Patriot Front organization. Gray joined up with Patriot Front to train them in combat. He's also been associated with the Traditionalist Workers Party, a leader of the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, as well as the Autumnwaffen Division, a neo-Nazi organization whose members have trained with Ukraine's Azov Battalion and which was designated as an illegal terrorist organization by the United Kingdom and Canada. After years of battling leftists in the streets of America, Gray found his way to Kiev, Ukraine, to open up a gym. This was his end to the ultra-nationalist scene in Ukraine, which is jam-packed with mixed martial arts obsessives. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Gray joined up with the Georgian National Legion, a group that I've personally exposed for a myriad of war crimes. As Secretary Blinken condemns liberal Gen Z activists in the U.S. as anti-Semites, apparently a well-known neo-Nazi establishment in Ukraine is totally kosher. Hey everyone, um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.